Habs fans, if you have been watching number 21 this season, Caden Gooley, who is at 20 years old, the best Montreal Canadiens defenseman right now. Sorry, David Savard, move over. Seriously, Caden Gooley is a gem right now, and he keeps developing. And hey, it's not just what he does defensively. The kid is airtight. Great first passes, great gap control, great stick plays on defense, but he's also got some offensive sizzle. The guy can kick it up a notch, and we saw it with that. What a shot, eh? Against the Buffalo Sabres for the first NHL goal there for Caden Gooley. Literally, this guy's awesome. I saw it in preseason, too. The guy's got a zipper of a shot, and he can make some sizzly plays up on offense there. So I was just wondering, I was like, okay, where did Gooley get taken again in the 2020 NHL draft? Oh, yeah, 16th overall, which... Right now, I mean, I know it's early, but hey, from a defenseman who's 20 years old, defensemen, as you know, they take time to cook, they take time to marinate, to develop in the minors and in junior, way more than forwards usually do. So for a 20-year-old to step in here, be playing the way he's playing, that is something special. And I just got to thinking, why did Gooley drop to 16 again? Because I remember him being pretty highly regarded in that 2020 draft and yes there were some spicier names there some shinier names obviously the big three it was Lafreniere it was Byfield it was Stutzla you'll remember that and then there were some other names like Jake Sanderson who looks like a player for Ottawa uh, Lucas Raymond Jamie Drysdale as the, the honestly very very good players Drysdale and Sanderson as defensemen they both look like they're the real deal here uh, Yaroslav Askarov who went 11th to Nashville that's another guy who was pretty highly regarded Uh, In terms of goaltenders, he was looked at as one of the best goaltenders to come in a long time through the draft. Cole Perfetti to Winnipeg at number 10. Another interesting name. Jack Quinn, Marco Rossi. Like, there's some spicy names here. So, to me, it wasn't a case of like, oh my gosh, how did all these terrible players get drafted before Caden Gooley. Like, these players, they look good. There was some shiny names there, okay? There was Seth Jarvis is a great player for Carolina, super underrated. Dylan Holloway looks like a really good prospect for the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Alexander Holtz looks good for New Jersey. He was talked about as maybe a major piece in a possible Matthew Kachuk to the Devils trade in the offseason. He looks good. Um, and again, obviously, Raymond is a player. Stutzla, Byfield, uh, I'm not so sure about him right now. Lafreniere, uh, <laughs> he's picking it up a bit, might take a bit more time. But there's some good names on this list. So, again, uh, let me be crystal clear here. I am not saying, oh my gosh, how was Caden Gooley number 16? Like, what? He should have been way higher. There's so many, like, trash players here that Caden Gooley should have got drafted before. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, man, like, there were that many shiny new toys and shiny, spicy, interesting names that Gooley fell all the way to 16th? Because, dude, let me tell you, Caden Gooley right now... I think he's going to be a number one or number two defenseman in the NHL. Yes, I said it. I said it, man. I mean, look, I wasn't sure because to me, I need to see how he played. I need to see if he was mobile enough, if he was good enough with the puck on his stick, if he was poised enough. He's got all of it, man. He's got a great motor. He's mobile. He's big. Okay, and he's cool, calm, collected, poised. He has it all, man. I'm sorry. Like, he's he's a number one guy in the NHL as far as a defenseman. He has all the tools. He seems so calm mentally. He doesn't look like he gets frazzled. Yes, he's made a couple of mistakes. All rookies are, especially rookie defensemen in the National Hockey League. I played defense in beer league the other week, and I was almost pooping my pants trying to make a first pass. I can't imagine playing in the NHL as a defenseman, dude. Seriously, so... Um, to me, he's got all the tools, all the ingredients to be a number one defenseman for the Montreal Canadiens in the NHL. Uh, is he going to be a superstar? I don't think so, but I think he's going to be a very solid, very good number one defenseman in the NHL. I think that's my projection for Caden Gooley. Like think Morgan Riley. That's who I think when I see Caden Gooley. Um, And look, Riley took a couple of years to get adjusted playing for the Toronto Maple Leafs as a defenseman. Like, he didn't jump in and was number one D right away. Like, it took him a few years. And uh, there were some bumps in the road there. And there will be with Gooley as well. I mean, he's a young defenseman here. He's 20 years old. You can't expect him to walk in and be the reincarnation of Bobby Orr. No. But I see a lot of Morgan Riley 
in Caden Gooley's game, and I love that. That's really, I, that's a, a great thing, I think. But yeah, Habs fans, if you know a lot about defensemen and projecting good defensemen for the future, which, by the way, that's one of the toughest positions to project. Look at me, right? Yusuf Valimaki getting drafted by the Flames, 17th overall. I was like slam dunk. Hey, most Flames fans were like slam dunk, number one defenseman, Yusuf Valimaki for the future, superstar. Here we go. And not at all. He did not turn out to be like that at all all okay seriously I mean I don't know what I was looking at what I was seeing defense is really a tough position to project and the more I watch the NHL the more I've come to realize that the great defensemen what they have that separates them is a good head on their shoulders okay that doesn't just mean analyzing and reading the ice to be able to make the best play it means staying calm when you've got guys four checking you at 100 miles an hour and you have to make a play right then and there or you know you're going to get hit by the four checker getting the puck behind your net or you're at the blue line and you know that if you lose the puck here it's a breakaway for the other team like that type of poise is what you need in the NHL um, and that's what I think Caden Gooley has, seriously. So, hey, that's just my two cents on the matter. Let me know what you guys think about this. I, I don't know how he went 16th overall. So, um, yeah, that's just my two cents. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.